Of course, in The Fast Lady, I was playing this gormless Scot in kilts. And Leslie, who was the second-hand car salesman, was playing that frightfully smooth, uh, rather roguish, and kind of real womanizer. And I was the naive boy who had sort of fallen in love with this girl for the first time and had bought the, the red label Bentley just to please her. And, uh, and Ken, Ken enjoyed it putting one against the other, Leslie Phillips and myself. Me as the gorm with Scott and, uh, and Leslie as the smoothie. Yeah, I got on very, very well with Leslie. In fact, we nearly went into business together about uh, uh, a firm for chauffeur, chauffeur firm. And in the end, it fell through, but we, we were that close. One morning, James Robertson Justice said to Ken Anakin, Leslie Phillips and myself, I'd like you to come and have a glass of champagne with me at lunch in my dressing room. And I said, ooh. One was always rather tentative with James. I said, was it a birthday? No. Oh, a, a celebration of some kind? Well, yes, in a way. Oh, I said, what is it to celebrate? It's to celebrate the first Nazi I shot when I was an officer in the Wehrmacht. Well, I, I couldn't believe it, but sure enough, I looked dubious and he produced a photograph of him without the beard and with the Wehrmacht cap. <laughs> that was another thing that James Robertson Justice did, as well as selling carpets in Vancouver and all sorts of things. He spoke about four languages and uh, had a wonderful knowledge of uh, nature and you know, butterflies and all that. A butterfly couldn't land anywhere near us on location without him giving the great Latin name for it. And, and then he would speak a bit in French. And so without being showy off me, you just realized he was enormously knowledgeable. And I said to him, James, have, have you got a photographic memory? He said, well, yes, I think so, for everything except the fucking lines that I have to say tomorrow morning. <laughs>